Looking for me to let's go Take me on this journey home I don't wanna wait no All right, y'all, this video has kind of just like randomly popped back in, into my mind again and going through the comment section, every so often I see this comment as an option and I figured why not talk about it. Should Olivia move with Billy? Y'all, I ain't even gonna lie. This topic is very interesting and complicated because in all honesty, I don't feel like either Billy or Laura is able to handle their children on their own. If you haven't already, make sure that you go to next my video that I did on the five times that Billy and Laura have dropped the ball as parents because I really break it down into like the top five moments where I just felt like, what was y'all doing? What were y'all thinking? Y'all are not showing up for these kids and they need you to be better. And while I definitely can see that Billy and Laura are still working their way through reuniting and reconnecting and rekindling their love, as of yet, while we're still on hiatus, they're still living separately. And when we leave off in episode eight, we see Olivia have this car crash and she's drinking. It's ultimately going to come out. I don't necessarily know if everyone is going to know about her drinking by episode nine, but Spencer knows the secret won't be able to be kept for too long. And ultimately, they're going to have to think about what they're going to do about it. Now, one of the things that they could do is for Billy to move back into the home, um, even though we definitely did see some tension and some not paying attention to Olivia while they were both living in the home. So that might not necessarily fix everything either. And I actually did a video about this as well, where I break down the ideology behind if Billy is going to move back into the home now that they found out that Olivia is drinking. Now, we know that Billy is not living in Crenshaw still with GW. So initially, the thought process behind that is like, one, Olivia would want to move to Crenshaw if Billy was still living in Crenshaw because that's where Spencer is. And honestly, I would be up for seeing Olivia transfer from Beverly to go to Crenshaw and seeing her in that environment. I think that she's already made really great friends with Kia and Kia is a really great influence. And then, of course, Spencer is there. She might really throw thrive and um, have things turned around for her uh, so that could be awesome but I doubt that we're going to actually see her transfer out of Beverly Hills High and into Crenshaw High but child that might just be the real awakening that Olivia needs because it feels like her Beverly Hills life just does not fit her it feels like she's unhappy it seems like it's not enough or it's too much or something and it's just not working so Olivia could possibly really need a change of pace a change of scene and Crenshaw might be that real dose of whatever that she needs now Billy is currently living in a condo which is not far from the Baker's Beverly Hills residence so even if Olivia did move with Billy she would not be too far away and she would still be living in that Beverly Hills bubble but again I think maybe a change of pace a change in routine a change of space could do her some good to try to snap her out of whatever is going on the writers have not done a great job of really allowing us to see Olivia's point of view to see why she is drinking what is going on with her and what she's struggling with all we know is that she's just doing these things but we really don't know why so it's really hard to make these videos and try to do any type of speculation around it because we just don't know yes she was involved in the shooting with Spencer last season that they never really addressed yes she struggles with being alone yes she's stressed in the relationship that she had with Asher and then Spencer confessing that he loved her but even all of that we never really get her point of view or her side so we don't know how all of these things are affecting her we just kind of assume that they are affecting her 
And while I can agree that a change in space and pace might be helpful for Olivia during this time, I don't necessarily think that she should move with Billy because Billy is also struggling right now. He's in Crenshaw hallucinating or whatever these visions are that he's seeing his mom in the classroom and he's having to go back and deal with past trauma that he hasn't really dealt with. He's brushing up against... Um, principal carter with this crazy beef and we don't necessarily know who was telling the truth and who was lying carter says that billy has bullied him to the point of beating him badly billy doesn't remember it at all which is kind of giving us a nod to maybe billy has some type of brain injury that doesn't that allows for him not to remember actually what happens on top of the fact that he has sacrificed his salary as a coach he is living estranged from his wife that he definitely wants back and the team is losing. I don't think that Billy is equipped or in a place to really pay attention to what Liv has going on, which is how they are missing so much about her. In addition to him managing his feelings around all of the things that he has going on in his life. So I don't necessarily think it would be a good idea for Olivia to move with Billy because while it would provide a change of, sp of space, it wouldn't necessarily create a place where she was getting the attention and the observation that she really needs. Olivia needs a lot of attention right now. She needs to be watched. She needs to be cared for and she needs to be protected mostly from herself. And I don't necessarily believe that Billy has the capacity to do that right now, even though he's her father and even though he loves her deeply, I just don't see it. In addition, I don't necessarily believe that Laura would let her move out. Laura is too much of a mom who she's very overprotective of Liv but it's crazy because she's overprotective of Liv but also very detached and she misses quite a bit so I think that she won't let Liv leave but she also hasn't gotten to a place where she can actually do all that needs to be done to help her preemptively protect Liv. Like, I was so disappointed when she did go behind Liv's back and did the drug test on her hair, but didn't test for alcohol. And I'm like, sis, why didn't you just test for everything? Because you never know. And y'all are keeping alcohol in the house. And quite a bit of y'all have brought up in the comment section, like, if you know that your child is a recovering drug addict, why? are there any like substances controlled substances or illicit substances in the house for them to get their hands on and y'all are right part of it I think is Laura's mother's intuition and mother's love but then another part of it is her ego that just would not let Olivia leave the house and definitely would not let her leave the house and go live with Billy I think that Laura will let Olivia move to Crenshaw with Grace before she let Olivia move anywhere with Billy but now is your turn I want to know in the comment section down below do you think that Olivia should move with Billy what do you think will actually help Olivia kick this drinking get back on track and become sober again or just tell me what you think our good sis needs let me know all of that and more in the comment section down below and if you made it this far in the video give me four stars in your comments so that i can show you some extra love because you a real one and you watched the whole video and i appreciate you so very much if you're new here, I'm Erica Vane, and I post new All-American videos every day, sometimes twice a day, and you should really hit the subscribe button and join the tribe. We have one of the best All-American communities on the internet. My comment section is lit, and we get it popping, y'all. We have the best discussions ever, and I know you're going to love it. If you haven't already, sign up for my Saturday All-American Rewatch Sessions. While we're on hiatus, every Saturday I get together with the subbies and we rewatch All-American. We're currently in Season 1, making our way to Season 2, and we're just getting ready for the second half of Season 3 to return on April 12th. The link is in the description box so that you can sign up and join me for these live rewatches every Saturday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I know you're not ready to go yet. You might have missed an All-American video too because I'm dropping these things every day and it's a lot of them. So check out my All-American playlist here or 
check out a new series that you have no idea about but is absolutely amazing by clicking the video here. See you tomorrow in the next amazing All-American video. Bye!